Hi, friends. So tryouts in California for the U20 women's and U17 girls start today at the Dignity Health Sports Park until the 22nd. Next week, the coaching staff will hold the tryouts on the 26th at the PFF National Training Center in Carmona, uh, at the 27th at the Chonko Field in Davao City, and on the 28th at the Dynamic Herb Sports Complex in Cebu City. So exciting times ahead, my friends. For someone who's been following the team for more than a decade now, this feels like uh, 2013 all over again. But this time, better, more organized, and overall, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be uh, a great experience for those who will come to the tryouts and with the hopes of representing our uh, country. Most of our current players started in the tryouts back in 2013. Their dreams were a decade in the making, so I cannot emphasize how um, important it is that they are identified this early, um, that their passports and paperwork are sorted this uh, early if they really want to commit and represent the Philippines this year or in the future. And like their ATES, uh, it will also be a very busy year for them. Um, there are a number of uh, competitions scheduled this year alone, like the um, AFC U20s Women's Asian Cup uh, qualifiers, round one, and then the round two, I think, will be in June. Um, there's also the AFF U19 Women's Championship in Indonesia come July, among others. So from, from what I've heard and just based on the questions I received myself through this podcast alone, I'm already expecting it will be a great turnout for sure. Um, currently, we have very uh, young players training and playing with the seniors like Bella Flanagan, Chantal Maniti, there's Skaya Hota now, and also not capped yet, but has been present in the camps, uh, camps recently, Chase Ying. So I'm expecting these four players will, will banner our youth teams from... And from what I've seen, some notable standouts from the U18, like Kylie Yap is attending the tryouts too. I'm just basing these information from what was already shared in public through social media. Just just keep in mind that while these are exciting times, um, they are young players and they are still to be evaluated by the coaching staff pending many things. And if they check all the boxes, then we should see them wear our flag in uh, future international competitions. So just a few names that I want to put out there that I'm aware of so far that um, also according to former scout Mark Manguni could surprise some people. Um, Gabby Rook just recently committed to University of Kentucky. She's a keeper, but can also play in field. Uh, so that's an inter- interesting competition for, for Kaya Hota in, in, in the keeper position. There's Ari Markey, who was left back and, and a winger also. Um, Michaela, Michaela Brenica, midfielder, verbally committed to University of San Diego. Um, Megan Murray, plays forward, verbally committed to Denver women's soccer. And I think among others, it's Grace Thau, who's made a lot of noise um, recently. According to University of Colorado press release, she's described as a super creative attacking player that can play up top in an advanced midfield role and a fantastic ball striker. Okay, so <laughs> this is just a few that emerged online in the last few days. I believe it will be a long list, and I know a lot of the girls will be at the tryouts. It's so exciting. Um, I'm I'm hoping another Carly Freelist will emerge from this young team, and and who knows, some of them may feature in the senior team this year, like in the Sea Games. You know, um, I may be the only person this excited. If you are, let me know. Um, it's a big year for Philippine women's football, so. I hope you're as excited as I am or even more. So to the girls, good luck. Um, Laban, and we hope to see you in camps and future tournaments wearing the three stars in the sun.